Hey Slayers, I hope you guys are fabulous. My name is Dumi and this is Young, Broke and Fabulous. If it's your first time here, you are not a Slayer yet. To become a Slayer, all you need to do is click subscribe, hit the notification bell and the all options so you don't miss a notification every time I post a new video. You know? And if you're a returning Slayer, welcome back babe. I appreciate you. Um, so guys, um, I, on, so, this video, right, um, you're seeing the title, How I Got My IUD and Ended Up in Hospital. Um, please enjoy the video, please watch the ads so I can get some ad revenue, and yeah, enjoy. But I'm really gonna go in depth because um, when I started on Monday, when was it? Last week, Monday, I I I went and I think I went to do my um, to replace my IUD um, loop. I don't know if you guys know it as loop or IUD, but it's a contraceptive device that um, they insert and it lasts for for five to ten years. The reason why I went to replace mine, um, it had been five years already and I was like, mm, I don't want to take any risk, let me like replace it and on top of that I had gone for a scan and um, I had suspected that I had cysts and they said no, maybe it's because of your loop, um, it's starting to, it's, it's old now. So that's why I decided that I was going to change my loop. So what happened on the what was that date? 24th of January, I went to replace my loop. And when I went to replace my loop, I got it done at um, my IUD device or loop. I'm going to say loop. Loop, not lube. Because <laughs> I said it on Instagram and a lot of people thought I said lube. I, it's, a, it's a loop. It's called a loop. Um, it's an IUD device. It's a, it's a copper IUD, not the Mirena one. The first one I had was that one, and the second one I have now is that one. So when I went to replace my loop, what happened was um, I went to Mary Stopes, and the reason why I went to Mary Stopes is because I had I had a scan prior, and the reason why I had a scan prior is because I wanted to find out if I have cysts, because I had been experiencing low abdominal pain and I struggle with cysts. Um, I've done a video with. Um, um, about ovarian cysts and how I struggled with them like for a while and um, obviously when I start having like low abdominal pains that's the first suspect so when I went to have my scan that woman scanned me but it was an outside scan I don't go to a gynae it was an outside scan um, by a radiologist or whatever they are called and she was like no um, I can see your loop but I, I don't I can't see any um i can't see any cysts because when like on a scan the cysts show as like empty space like i don't know how to describe i can download a picture online and show it or because i'm only having my um gynae follow-up appointment next week so i won't have pictures but if you guys want me to show you pictures and everything please comment in the comment of how cysts look like and everything like that just comment in the comment section anyways anywho anyhow um monday I, I i i i called a couple of places first let's let's start with finding a place to actually replace your loop without going to a gynae okay even a gynae that replaces a loop so i called the the initial place like the doctor my gynae that had done my loop and it was i inquired about removal and replacing on the same day and they were like it's five thousand and not on maker eight cash so this is gyne works and i was like five thousand cash and also my medical savings are not that much i wouldn't have been able to um replace my loop at that price so if you were just inserting it for the first time then it would have been two thousand five hundred cool i called um another place called disa med it's a it's a clinic for women Oh, it's just a clinic i'm not sure but i called um because i was just searching online and then they were like no um it's 
it's going to be 2000 so i was like okay that's reasonable and it's 2005 if you want local anesthetic but now and that's for removal and insertion so it's cheaper because thereby um i knew it, so i was saying 2.5 for insertion and 2.5 for removal so i was like mm -mm. then i was like okay let me just try other places because oh and then i tried to call disa again because they gave me an alternative number if i wanted to do it under medical aid and i couldn't reach them then uh, i was telling a colleague of mine and they're like i should try marie stopes so i did i tried marie stopes and um they were able to help me so marie stopes charges 500 um what was it 550 550 for removal um and they charge an additional 750 for inserting a new one but i think they do a discount if you are removing and inserting because i ended up paying 1000 um 1050 instead of 1350 because i was inserting and removing but if you are just inserting a new one they're gonna charge you 750 and you get the device they they they, they remove and insert it it doesn't take long so i i went in i paid it's cash as well they don't take medical aids i went in and i paid and then one like after i paid um i said like i didn't even sit, sit for long you have to you have to do an appointment and then um the woman i went in and then the woman explained to me what an iud device is which is like a copper it's like literally a piece of copper material like wire that's wrapped around like a t-shaped plastic and then they like they insert it into your cervix um i'll just make sure I'll, I'll just remember my facts but they send it into your cervix and it sits there for um it sits there for five to ten years so that's how it works and it basically prevents pregnancy unwanted pregnancy and then um she explained to me i took a pregnancy test came out negative they they take out a pregnancy test because um they won't like if say for instance you are five days pregnant and then you put the 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 iud in it's gonna like basically like act as a kind of like an emergency what do they call it you know morning after pills how do they work like you can do that with a like iud and then obviously like it will you can you keep it in then it becomes a contraceptive but that's why they do a pregnancy test before then it came out negative then um she just said i should take out like i changed into the into that medical skirt and then i went you know you put your legs up and then she's like they don't put an um local or like there's local anesthetic the one like where they just numb around like that area because the other places that i had called had mentioned that i think that's why they're so expensive at my stops they don't put that there. so i went um and they they like she opened up my legs she said this is going to be a bit uncomfortable right a bit uncomfortable not a lot she didn't do a scan before she only did a scan after so she didn't do a scan to check if everything is in place and everything or did she no she didn't do a scan she opened me up and then um they use that thing like even when you're doing a pub smear like, oh, that thing is so painful that's the first thing like it, it's like it's very uncomfortable coming in you feel a lot of pressure and then they open you up but i felt so much pain even with that thing going into my cervix like i felt a whole lot of pain and that woman was like are you sensitive to pain i guess she was shocked at my rea reaction i'm mentioning this because it's gonna bring me to how i then ended up in hospital so she opens and then she pulls out the first the the, the old one shows me here's your iud device um and she shows me the one the new one that's gonna go in i scream you know when you not screamed i scream like scream 
when that thing went in i was like i i even had like tears coming out i screamed so now she's just like oh my god why didn't they tell you you had to be on your periods first of all they didn't tell me when i was on the call the lady that i was i called the second time didn't tell me that i had to be on my period to book the appointment and um because your cervix is much softer and everything so i felt more pain because i was not on my periods but they usually advise you to be on your periods if you are going to be changing your loop and it's just mild discomfort for me i felt pain and since and then fine they put it in the sharp pain left in less than five minutes it, it was done the pain left but i was still like the pain now has started being around like my whole low abdomen and i just i just assumed it's because of like what like the the insertion and like the the removal what just happened obviously so i was like okay that's why i'm in pain they did give me pain meds that would last like i think three days you drink three times a day brufen um ibuprofen and they gave me like two antibiotics like that you take after just like on the same day after you eat you take the antibiotics so that you don't get any infections whatsoever so they everything went properly they explained to me like checkups how i check if the device is still there and everything like that because you have to check i didn't even know before i never actually checked if my device was always there so you just have to every time after your period you have to check with your finger if you feel like there's strings at the end that you need to feel if your um, device is still in there cool she explained all of that i ate drank my 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 thing went home this was monday tuesday i was like okay i even called the office i was like i'm still in a lot of pain i can't come in sharp i like like I, I i was the pain was not getting better which is not normal because i was i was telling my mom and she was like it's weird that you are in such a lot of pain and i was still like not thinking it would be cysts because i had a scan before i went to change my device and that was the problem they they had suggested that might be the problem and then on the on the day after they inserted my IUD, they scanned around the area. When I say this area, I mean like here, here, this is where she scanned around. So that's where she scanned and um, she was like, no, there's nothing. Then like um, your, your thing is sitting in place properly. This is Tuesday, like Monday, I'm in pain. I'm, I'm drinking painkillers. Tuesday, painkillers, I'm still in pain. Wednesday, I woke up started working and then yo by by 11 I was like I you know when you're like you know that stands where you're just like bending over on the bed because you are in such pain like it felt like there was lightning like a lightning fight happening on my lower abdominal area so I was just like you know what no this is not normal um they didn't say i'm gonna feel so much pain this is not normal like it was a kind of pain where like i felt like i was in shock my body was in so much pain that i i couldn't handle it so i went to e the er the emergency room because i couldn't bear the pain i couldn't even wait for like a doctor's appointment I needed to go to the emergency room because the pain was unbearable i had had like i drank painkillers i had like a hot water bottle i had tried everything and it was not working so i changed we went to the er so when you get to the er obviously you explain to them what's happening was the pain so they gave me something for the pain and obviously like it was strong they like a drip for pain and it started getting better but obviously they need to book you in for a sketch and i had like a discharge that was a bit brownish but now the the discharge was not like an infection or anything i it was just like my periods were gonna start in a day but i just thought wait there's something wrong maybe like the iud punch had something like i was just scared but then 
in the back of my mind i still thought you know what i'm sure the cysts that were not detected then i go for um they to take me to a scan after i had been on the er table for a while um and the painkillers were starting to i was more calm then we went to um get a scan so when you go get a scan one thing that you have to do is drink water till your bladder is full especially for a scan that's outside and not inside so they made me drink like tons of water like two liters of water then the guy who once i had finished the water went and told the 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 the, the person who's going to be scanning me radiologist or i don't know because i'm not sure what the title of the people that do scans are and then he, she that woman came and then like started like doing the scan and she was like no your bladder is not full this um at the other places that they had scanned me they didn't do like the they, they didn't wait for my bladder they didn't give me water and say like my bladder has to be full before they do a scan so that woman was like um it takes time for the water to leave your tummy into your bladder so we need to wait a bit more so i did even drink a bit more water so that like i could get my bladder full fast then we waited like i think 30 to 45 minutes waiting for my um for my bladder to get full once it was full she was like yeah now i can see everything so she went obviously like they said she should check like my whole low abdomen because obviously they're suspecting that maybe there's an infection but also i had mentioned that like the cyst thing so she started checking and she took a long time just checking everything checking everything and then she was like oh okay your 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 device is in place it was put in properly so my device was fine they put it they put it in properly there was no puncture there was like no infection or anything but now she picked up a, a small system cyst on my left which was like okay like the it couldn't be the source of the pain even though like it could be because um she was saying that um the 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 they what when you insert a new iud it causes spasms so maybe the spasms were like uh like hindering with my cysts and obviously they, they will get very painful because cysts are not like ovarian cysts are not something that's supposed to be in your body then on the right that's where most of the pain was coming from like i kept on pointing this is where most of the pain was coming from the cyst kind of sits in the middle so my pain was coming on the like from the left side of my lower abdomen so painful guys yo like the thing is i can't even explain the pain i can't say it's like childbirth because i've never birthed a child but cysts are painful like if you kind of disturb the area where it's on because like you feel the pain during intercourse after you do feel pain like if there's like you know like a bit of motion and everything like that but i felt this pain so intensely on that day that's how i went to the er then they checked 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 so it was a scan so the scan my blood okay, they always take blood because obviously they have to check everything so my blood didn't indicate any infection and the only thing that was really like uh, a big thing was the cyst on the right it was really big the the outside scan had measured 2.9 2.5 like 2.9 by 2.5 circumference so it was around a golf ball size um, and then I was like, they told me um, what the issue is. My 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 IUD is fine; it doesn't need to be changed or anything. This is the new one, but the problem is that I have cysts, and I was like, okay, I have a problem with this, and it's gonna keep on co going on. So please refer my case to a gynae. Then I was um, actually transferred to a gynae. Luckily, there was one on duty still at that time and she was able to see me and then she scanned me and she was like no this cyst is actually bigger so it was really big 
and it was like three point something by three point something so it's still slightly bigger than a golf ball but it being there is obviously gonna cause discomfort like if i'm if i dance too much if i have intercourse if i like move in a certain way like any pressure that can be applied there can obviously like poses a risk of it um it being like ruptured or like it just obviously like being painful because it's not something that's supposed to be there so i was just like okay cool what are my options so she wanted to go the route of um she, she, she suggested that we do like um kind of again contraceptives not not remove my iud but do like hormonal contraceptives and i told them like they've tried doing this before this is my fourth time in here like actually my fifth time in here for sis and i know this pain i cannot go back home with this pain and hope the 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 um the contraceptives work because i've tried them before they literally just make me bleed the whole month and there's nothing they like they don't help the cyst they don't even do anything and obviously like this like there was just like a lot of liquid and then yeah like she was like then we have to remove it so that's how they put me in for an operation to remove the cyst and then i ended up sleeping in hospital there's still covid regula regulation so you can't really have visitors so my husband couldn't be there for me which was really sad and i just realized like after five times of doing the same operation people start thinking like ah whatever she's gonna be fine she was fine the four other times because i just felt like okay nobody was like oh are you okay nobody like checked up on me or anything like that which was like okay cool whatever my my mom did obviously like my sister as well my my husband but it was just like something light but i was more stressed than anything i was i was stressed but i i chose to also take that approach that Ugh, i'm used to this but i was really like feeling disappointed and sad that okay i'm back here and after those other two scans where they had said like no you don't have um cysts only to like end up finding out that i do and they're big and i have to take them out once again where i was just like even in the last video i did last year january i said like i hope and i pray and this is the last time and there's a lot of suggestions that came in and i tried all of those things so there was this natural medication that someone had suggested i tried doing it then it started making me like um just bleed a lot randomly like just constantly be on my period and my cycle was inconsistent only to find out that thing is just the main ingredient that's in most of the um contraceptives so that's basically why they say it helps with cysts and like all of those things so i just stopped i just stopped with the steaming i really felt like it provides with um comfort and like that but I can't really tell if it stops this or not because here I am. And I was inconsistent, so I can't say it works or not, the uni steaming. So yeah, I ended up doing the operation and getting it removed. Right now I'm in post-operation healing. Um, I still have bruising and swelling on my tummy. And the stitch on my... Ugh, I'm so annoyed about my belly button. I had the cutest belly button ever ever now my belly button looks botched i'm so sad about that because obviously every time they do the, the the operation they don't like cut you up like thing they do the larynx got larynx larynx or whatever like so they use uh they put in like pipes that have like the cutting thing and the burning thing and then they like just do incisions around your tummy that are not like big so that's why even the post healing is not as hard as like if like operations before that used to like open you up so yeah they they like so right now i'm in post healing and i'm just trying to be like okay 
emotionally and not be so disappointed um yeah but that's how i ended up in hospital after my iud session as for the iud session i would really really recommend it i would really recommend if um if you don't want anything hormonal and you want something that's gonna last for a long time and um the only thing that changes with a copper iud is that your periods may become heavier and you may experience like more intense period pains which is something that i've dealt with my whole life so i'm just like ugh. the period pains did become more painful but ibuprofen 400 milligrams works and it's not like pain that's unbearable and i prefer the the like the long-term methods than the short-term ones because i know myself i'd forget i'd forget my 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 the pills i would even forget the the injection after the months i have to like get it redone so the iud really worked perfectly for me and the reason why i went to hospital was not because of um like where i got it done it was just because the they didn't see that I have cysts and the whole reason why I ended up in hospital was because of the cysts it's removed now hoping for the best and for the people that are gonna ask like what are other solutions for me the whole time all because I've been to three different gynees the first gynee has done the operation on me three times and then the second one did it once and then this one did it the first time now and all of them have said um usually with women like me that um have recurring cysts and everything like that one thing that does help is having children so that's one thing we need to start considering but it's not something that i'm really considering which is also stressful for me because i'm not there i'm not there and i also don't want to be every year going back to remove a cyst because my cysts really just keep growing and growing and they cause me a lot of pain and discomfort and that's why i even always opt for the surgery route because once it's there the pain is constant that's why i literally always have to be on pain meds when it's cold i'll have to be like putting um a thing uh what do you call this um a hot water bottle around there and anything so the 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 operation kind of gives me relief for a certain amount of time obviously like and then they grow back and what the uh, my last guy he explained because this one i still have to go back um next week but the last one explained that what happens is that when you when i ovulate um i pro like i release like more eggs than like one and then what happens is when the egg doesn't get fertilized obviously like it leaves during your period um like that's where like your period like happens then it leaves but some of them just stay then they end up growing and becoming cysts that's like limits terms how i can explain it but i'm gonna do a separate video i'm gonna ask my guy me everything for you guys so please please put in the comment section everything that you want me to like ask and answer then i will put it um i'll do a video dedicated to that but yeah i am i'm still like i still feel like sad but not not like too sad and i think maybe um the cyst was there but i think it grew a lot in jan because i had just put so much pressure on myself to be like you know what this year like i have to just jump back and to be protective being like this and like you know like the pressure of just being like yeah doing better than last year in the new year and i i really can't tell you what made my cysts grow and but i know it's it's from december or november when i started feeling the pain so i i i can't tell you i can't tell you but stress also contributes to the cyst so yeah we'll talk about this in two weeks <laughs> ah, guys 
get yourself an IUD. If you want an IUD, please get yourself an IUD. Um, Mary Stopes, you can just call, you can get that number on Google, then call and see um, if they have uh, a place near you. I did mine at the, in the, in Bryanston and yeah, sent in Bryanston. That's where I did mine at the clinic in Bryanston. And it's still in, they didn't remove it. The only thing that was removed is my sis. So, okay, or sharp, no babies. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.